hit that subscribe button down below. Get the huge thumbs up. Thanks for watching Red White the Moon. Welcome to Red White and the Moon. We are a family of five humans and six dogs living in a 1983 Eagle bus. We sold our house to hit the road in our 350 square foot home on wheels. Tag along as we show you America through our lens. Hey everybody, we hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday and we hope your week has been good up to this point. We have had a busy week here buttoning up some last minute things. If you guys don't know, we're knock on wood closing on our house on the 17th of July and after that we are full nomads and kind of homeless. So yeah, so we're going to try to knock out a few technical things before RV Steve takes off middle, about the middle of the week. Um, in this video, we're going to tackle the new inverter. We're going to put it in, make some new key. Yeah, gnats are terrible. The gnats like, are awful. Oh my god. Florida is just beating us to death right now. Um, make some cables for the batteries. Um, do some real small, tedious stuff. It's kind of slow moving with this stuff, but it's got to be done right. It's got to be done well because you're dealing with a lot of power moving through the bus, so we don't want any uh, mishaps to happen there. And it was really expensive. This electrical stuff gets very expensive very fast, you know, but it has to be right. We want good quality stuff because, you know, we're building this as our home, you know. Yeah. This is going to be, we're trying to make it as off grid a bowl. Is that the word? I don't know. Off gridable? As off gridable as possible. So, I mean, the long run it's going to pay off because we'll be able to save money on generator fuel, you know, and, and be able to get free, free power. And camp where we want to. Yeah, and be able to boondock and, you know, move around where we want to. So that's exciting and, you know, it's fun, but, you know, it's just, it's just very pricey. Yeah. So without further ado, let's jump right into this and let's get to work. for like a year now. The thing is awesome. We were working here the other day and it was so dark in here. And I was like, you know what? I had a store credit at Home Depot, so I went and bought this thing and it is sweet. It runs off, I have the rigid tool, power tools. So you can run it off a battery and you can also plug it in, but this thing really puts out a lot of light, so I really love it. But like I said, early, um, you know, we were able to get this stuff done. As you saw in the time lapses, we were able to get the inverter hung. Um, We've got the wires ran. We, Steven made all these wires, custom made. Um, basically this system right here is going to run an air conditioning, you know? We wanna be able to be comfortable. We like air conditioning, we're Florida. We like our air. 
So basically we have our two batteries here that you saw in the other videos are two 24 volt batteries, three kilowatt hours each. Um, our huge 24 volt, 5,000 uh, watt inverter, which is, and then we had, uh, we installed a new um, small panel just for the ACs over here. So basically, yeah, I mean, we got it all set up. Um, we got to install our charge controllers. But at this point, until we can actually get the ACs installed and get those lines ran, get those wires ran, this is pretty much where we're, you know, where we're going to stop in this video and at this point. But everything looks good. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, we weren't really, I never really intended on using this bay for this type of thing, but this, this, um, being able to run our air is very important to us. Um, I didn't want to buy a huge freaking generator that's going to suck fuel and make tons of noise. So we're trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. And, you know, we've, like I said, in other videos, we've made this bus as energy efficient as possible. So we'll let, I'll let you know how this stuff works. You know, these batteries, if they work, like I've heard, that's the best value on the market. Um, and I'll probably do a video on, you know, really dig deep into the solar, you know, later on. But yeah, here we are now. I mean, everything looks good. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Um, unfortunately, Steven is leaving tomorrow, Wednesday. So we, uh, but he's gonna make a trip back. I've got a few things left to come in for the ACs to get those finished. So hopefully, he's only a couple hours away, so hopefully here in a couple weeks we'll be able to get everything 100% complete and hooked up, so. So, I'm up here on the roof. We're gonna do one of the most dreaded things that I've been having, you know, I knew was gonna have to happen. I'm gonna drill in the roof. <laughs> what we got is a little junction box, gang box, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna set it on the roof, drill a hole in the roof, drill a hole in the box. Um, run solar wires, AC wires are all going to go through here. And there's a watertight lid that'll go on here. That way everything's going to one hole, one area, so we don't have to drill a bunch of holes. So here we go. Here goes nothing. My God. <laughs> Last. I'm drilling my hole in my box right now. Just put a drill around the middle of that glass that you So we got our hole in our roof, we got our hole in our box, we're gonna clean this up a little bit, and we're gonna fasten it to the roof, seal it up really nice and good, and hopefully start running some wires. We got, um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's our hole. There's a little piece of the interior part of the roof. I didn't go all the way through it because I wanna wait and cut it with a razor knife, that way it can be tucked up under there. I didn't wanna completely destroy it. So yeah, that's where we are right now. So we got us a nice big glop of Sika Flex. And... Oh, hell. All right, so we got our nice 
nasty <coughs> junction box down. It's got to let all that dry and we'll be able to start running some wires in here. Here we are Wednesday morning and Steven's headed out the door. They're headed on up to North Ocala and you know it's we're gonna miss them. We've been pretty much camping and spending every day together for about the past uh, seven months. So we've had the bus build and just we've kind of been quarantined together and we've just we've been around each other for a while now. You know it's been the longest stretch we've ever probably actually spent together. It's been nice but I know they're ready to get on to different things, different projects, and get out of this central Florida heat, which, which they're really not. They're heading up about two hours north currently, and uh, they're gonna be working up there for a couple, at least a couple weeks, and then who knows from there, but it's been good having them. Um, the bus would not be where it is today without them. There's no doubt about that, and uh, we're definitely gonna miss them. All right, he's heading out. Like I say, they're only going a couple hours north to a place called Ocala. Um, like I said, they got a, he's got a bus job up there he's going to be working on for at least a couple weeks, but could be longer. But hopefully they have a safe trip and get up there without any problems. As you just seen, RV Steve left us. He is on his way to North Ocala. We, like I said, we spent the last few months together, worked our butts off, done a lot of work, had some fun, you know. It's, but I understand, I'm ready to go too, so hopefully we won't be too far behind. Yeah, I think we are absolutely ready to, these gnats. We are, we are absolutely ready to, to go and to get out of here and go explore and show the kids the world, or the US, and getting these last few things buttoned up are, pretty important to do because we want to be off grid. Yeah, I'm very pleased, you know, with the way the the setup work. I've, I've went back and forth a hundred times on what I wanted to do and this is what I settled with. Well, a lot of it depended on the air conditioners. We were looking at mini split units, but to get the size mini split we were going to need, it was going to cost a lot of money. So yeah. I basically bought everything, all every bit of this for what one system was going to cost and that's not including generators or any type of extra solar power. So. For now, this is gonna be, you know, this will be good. You know, I, I'm, I'm pleased with it. You know, there's still a little bit more to do. It's, it's, but the thing is, it's, it's all custom. It's like this entire bus. It takes so long to do anything because you have to build and fabricate mm -hmm. almost every single thing you do, which is fun And after you're done with it. But when you're in the middle of it, like why in the world am I doing this? It's frustrating ah. and you know, you really want to make it perfect and make it right because it is our home. Like right. we're, we're home, our home's gonna be gone so you know we want it to be right and we want it done right and we've had so many experiences i'm so we're sorry about the now they are just we're on a farm like you many of you know and they are just it's terrible oh my god we've just had so many experiences buying cheaper things and then breaking and then trying to replace them and then you've already spent more than what it would cost just to have the right thing in there to begin with yeah i mean i bought like that a victron inverter there's you was $2,500. I mean, that is, it's top, but I mean, that's as good as money buys. Because, I, and I know that, and it, it syncs with everything that I already have. I could have spent a whole lot less than that, but that's tried and true tested stuff. It works and good on mobile applications. So, you know, it's just, it's a sacrifice, but at the end of the day, I think it's worth it. You know, we're going to definitely do a final breakdown of the entire bus once it's actually completed. So, but other than that, you know, this short little video, but I think um, it was fun. You know, I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. I hate to see my brother go, but I know he was ready to move on and do some other stuff too, so. But as usual, guys, we appreciate you watching this video, and we will catch you on Sunday. Twice.
Yeah, twice on Sunday. If you haven't followed us on one of our lives, we do them Sunday evening at 7 p.m. We usually we have Steven with us, so if you get a chance to check that out, we'd really appreciate it. Bye guys, thank you. See you next week.